So Ray's gonna attempt to uh, pull that pipe 10 foot sections out of a box truck with these forks. He did it before, but it was actually more pipe, weighed more. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We're back here. Uh, Ray, you're gonna have to curl more. We're back here on Monday morning. Of course the pallet's broken. Who broke the pallet? That's why you need a flatbed truck. Yeah, it was two full bundles last time. This is only a thousand feet this time. Last time it was 1150 or 1160. Let's see if the gate holds it this time. Ray said last time the gate went right to the ground. go easy peasy so on this job here they want uh, screenings six inches of screenings on the pipe and then we got to lay our telco pipe to that side for one foot separation I really like the stability of that Takuchi man Nice wide tracks, that thing's very stable. Right, hold me. Yep, keep coming, Ray, keep coming. Good. Hey, good morning, guys. We're back on site here. Gonna backfill these uh, utilities. We gotta go all the way up there yet, but yesterday we put it in down to the pole, so we're doing some backfilling before the rain. It's gonna rain. Got our new guy, Bryce, here with his rattlesnake chaps on. <laughs> Say hi, Bryce. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're gonna get going here and uh, Bryce gonna do some fun.
Well, we're all backfilled. And it's starting to rain, so we're gonna get out of here. They agree, Bryce? Yeah. Yeah, it's time to go. So, yeah, got it all graded out. And uh, we'll continue tomorrow morning after all this rain's done. And then here, we gotta finish off, did a pole once you get the pole in, so I left this top soily stuff on the side. And because we'll be tracking back through here, they're gonna put a new pole in right there because the bear's got that one kind of tore up. That's what they tell me, the bears hear the humming on the, the transformer and I think it's a bee's nest. So the bears try and climb up the pole. That's what the uh, forester told me. But you can see, you can see the, the poles all, all tore up. So they're gonna put a new pole in, but yeah, look, look at that view guys. It's beautiful, but it is gonna pour down raining. So we'll be back in the morning. See ya. film a little bit so bear with us first time filming You're digging a trench at 44 inches deep Bryce and I are uh, gluing conduits together hopefully we get done today I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Dug pretty far already. Yeah, I'm gonna shine this thing around this way. So we started this morning way down there where the truck's at. We came all the way up here, and we're stopping there at that. I'm not sure what that a birch tree or I think it's a birch tree. Can't go any farther because the tower. We got to take the tower foundation in. That's next week. He's got all this dirt. 
We're gonna fill in the, for the road. We're not allowed to take any dirt off here. The state game lands. So maybe later you can see us trout fishing if we get done in time. So that's what that looks like, all done, all graded up, tracked in, complete. So that's going to do it for us for this week, guys and girls, <laughs> if you're watching. Um, we'll be back next week, and we'll start digging this tower. So. Come on, Ed, let's go. we got fishing to do. That's right. These guys want to do some fishing. <laughs> they caught four last night. They said they're going to catch a limit tonight. Catch a limit tonight. All right, man, till next time, see ya. Thank you. Hey, good morning, everyone. It's a new day, new week, back on site. Yesterday we got here, we pulled all the wire up the mountain and stuck all the wire and the old tower in the dumpster. Uh, had a truck stuck, just a busy day. Didn't have time to really film anything. Well, it was, at least I wasn't in the mood to anyway. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we got all that cleaned up. Remember that pile of steel that was right there? Got all that cleaned up, and then there was a thousand feet of wire down through the woods to the bottom of the mountain. Well, to the bottom of this part of the mountain. Um, and uh, we had to pull four thousand foot uh, runs, the coax, and a small electric wire out of there. We had the electricians out to disconnect that and had the truck, the bucket truck stuck. So we had to pull that out. So, yeah. So then we started digging this foundation out. See right there's a center line pin. And uh, 
Ray built a nice little head wall there out of stones. We actually put a drain out, found level and put a drain out and then Ray put that little head wall in there so that the dirt wouldn't wash down in front of the pipe. So we're gonna continue digging this, this foundation and uh, hope the rain holds off. So everyone, we are done until we get our bolts. Raise this screwing the bender down the trailer deck. But you see the pipe yeah, in the corner over there that actually runs out. We ran out to, to daylight. So we covered this all with plastic. So that hopefully it doesn't cave in. But um, it's kind of sad that we can't get those bolts right now. But see, that's where we daylighted our pipe right there. Bryce made a little spillway so it doesn't erode the dirt if it runs out of there fast. 
Got all our steel under the plastic. I mean, we are ready to go here. We just need those bolts. So, yeah, we utilize this little shed here to uh, put all our parts in. <laughs> so, kind of worked out. Just got to make sure we don't have snakes and everything until we get back. But, yeah, I don't know. So, we're, we're heading to Maryland next week. We're going to go do, down there and do a new site build. Just a, what they call a co-locate. It's just for a carrier to get on an existing tower. But it is a new tower. We just didn't build it, so. But, uh, yeah, so that's it for this week until we get our bolts. So, Bryce, what do you think of this? You like this work? Yep, it's fun. Yeah. That is uh, week two for Bryce. Yep. Bryce has been fishing every night down there in the Pine Creek. And he is catching a ton of trout, so yeah. yeah. So yeah, more than Ray, more than Ray, but he's dragging Ray out there every night. So, <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you uh, next time. See you. Good morning, everybody. It is July twentieth. We've been away from this job for a month. We came back on the eighteenth with our bolt pattern that we finally got after eight weeks. And got this thing all tied in. So it's two mats, number six on the bottom, number four on top, nine inch grid. And we got 24 number seven hook bars coming up around our bolt pattern. I don't know if you can see that. You got uh, some one inch conduit there that's covering up our ground rod so it doesn't come in contact with the concrete. And then we have <clears throat> our steel bonded as well with special. Uh, prove rebar direct burial clips and then we put car flex around our number two tin which is copper it's just tin coated copper so we got one of them on each corner but um yeah i want to say happy birthday to brandon my uh partner <laughs> he's uh it's his birthday today so happy birthday brandon he might even uh, show up today. We'll see. See who comes up the road. But um, yeah, good morning, guys. Hey, I didn't know it was Brandon's birthday. Happy birthday, yeah. buddy. Happy <laughs> this birthday. is yeah. This is uh, Bryce's last week with us. He's gone. Uh, he joined golf league. So <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we've been harassing him about that all week. <laughs> well, actually, the last two weeks. But yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is Bryce's last week. But yeah, and thanks to uh, our customer. For lending us this enclosed trailer, man. It, we've been getting a lot of rain. So, you know, if you know anything about sauna tube, it doesn't like rain. So, we're able to keep everything nice and dry. So, we we're going to be pouring today at 2 o'clock. So, stick with us, guys. We'll be back. Alright guys, this is the last pour. Like, uh, three and a half yards in the uh, tube here. <laughs> so we got this thing poured and finished. Next week, we'll work on uh, getting all our backfill done. So, uh, yeah. It's been real. Say bye, Mike. Bryce, it's been great working with you, buddy. Yep, it's been great. All right, see you guys. Oh, welcome back, guys. It's Monday. We're doing some grounding. Get the shovel on the... Yeah, baby! <laughs> we got a lot of ground in here, man. 
but we're back to work it's monday so yeah the uh pier came out beautiful looks real good man I'm real happy with that no stress cracks from it drying too quick we built a tent over it so it didn't crack at all so looking good this thing looks like oh yeah look at that it's perfect so guys we've been huh, pretty lax on filming <laughs> we got our first lift in on top of the foundation using a 3035 with the hoe pack on it got all our conduits in for our shelter for the uh, cell carrier so they're all in got all our grounding done like I said the tower foundation turned out beautiful so it's gonna get some bedding around these pipes and then tomorrow we'll uh, finish backfilling it's getting pretty late in the day so
everybody. Put this pipe in last night. Got one left in. Doing a little bit of compaction. Hey guys, we're back. Got a load of stone on the truck there. We got this all fabriced in. We got everything backfilled up to grade in the pad area. Got everything up to grade around the tower foundation. Out there we're a little low, but we ran out of dirt. So we're gonna do some trenching either this afternoon or tomorrow. So we'll be able to uh, generate some more dirt because we're gonna use stone backfill on that. So. Yeah, we'll put some stone in here now. So guys, that is gonna end our day. It is Thursday night. And we got everything put back together again. We had just enough dirt to build this. So, gotta put a backboard right here for the uh, meter and the uh, telco. But that's the main telco and that's the main electric. So we got our forms up, fabric underneath with six inches of gravel. So those are the backboard posts there. So there's the tower again. So yeah, we're gonna get out of here for this week. Um, <clears throat> heading back to the shop, we'll get rebar, come back here Monday, put our rebar in, get inspection, and get this thing poured. So a little bit closer to being done. So see you next week, see ya.